Hello Malaysia, welcome to Seaman Go part 1 Today is the 14th of uh, September 2013 and I'm fucking knackered It's around like half, uh, 15, 15 minutes uh, to 3am, it's fucking hot I sweat a lot, try to sleep in the bus But the roads are terrible and uh, well, it's just terrible So let's see here, this is Seaman Go Or Go Seaman Or Semengo However you like to pronounce it so uh, let's see, for non-Malaysians, single entry pass is 10 bucks and if you are like a uh, child, 5 bucks and stuff and if you were Malaysian, it's uh, half price uh, it's adults, uh, 5 bucks and whatnot. so let's see when you are in uh, Seaman Go or Seaman's Go or Go Seaman and you get uh, do not kill, injure, capture or disturb any animal especially the orangutan uh, yeah, you don't kill them and eat them uh, But being the Chinese, uh, we love to taste them And you cannot like take or destroy a plant, egg or nest You cannot bring a weapon, explosives or poison uh, Oh my god, I can't bring a weapon so my dick, I cannot bring it, is it? So set fire, oh god damn it, can't set fire How are you going to ward off the mosquitoes? Damage and uh, or destroy or deface any property Okay Litter Okay, I'm not going to have a litter today because I don't f feel that pregnant at all uh, Create nuisance Oh shit, my very existence is actually a nuisance So I don't think I can actually go into ghost semen And gamble Oh my god, what's the point of going to see the orangutans if you can't like play poker with them So let's see, cautions, uh, liabilities and uh, ab ab absorption or uh, whatever for the well whatever god damn it don't know so let's see here is uh, hopefully thank god it's a bit uh, cloudy today as you can see in front of there there uh, it's bloody hot for today i think the the proximity of this uh, Borneo to like say new zealand or australia is uh, affecting the ozone layer the ozone layer is very very slim very, very thin in uh, New Zealand and I know that uh, I've been to New Zealand of course it's thin very thin that's why the the what do you call it it is uh, very detrimental to your skin if you were to uh, have long hours in the sun in New Zealand even though it's cool here it's very humid very very hot and very very detrimental to your well-being it been making me sleepy as fuck so let's see what's this uh, botanical research semen go. So this is the journey to within that uh, semen go, and uh, there is some plants there. Interesting. 2.5 kilometers, 25 kilometers an hour. Mm. We're going up a hill.
same problem as in KL not enough parking space that reminds me I need to take a dump So put this in a bigger tripod. Jauh sana. Sudah pergi ya. Okay. Apa nombor meter? Meter agak jauh. Ah, kena jalan 400 meter. Kan 400. 80 meter saja. 80 meter. Dua minit sudah sampai. Dua minit sampai ya. Hmm. Apa nama Encik? Mana? You? Saya Alex. Alex dari mana? Dari Kuching. Kuching. Oh. Saya bawa. Pelan -pelan. Bawa itu itu van semua itu lah. Semua itu. Oh, okay. Memang kerja ini saja. Oh, bagus lah. Boleh lah. Hari ini panas oh hilang boring sedap lah apa? besok nak pakai hilang boring tension lah habis semua relax besok lain lagi relax lah besok lain lagi orang saya ha. sekarang jadi tidak ada oh. jadi happy hari-hari oh ok buat dia it's ok from Ipoh from Ipoh Ipoh Mari yep first time kan many time first time yeah huh. come to Kuching yeah. aku holiday what? ah holiday seorang so, sahaja ah bukan dengan kawan-kawan oh kawan-kawan one group lah ya yeah, yeah. sama group. pejabat yeah. So thank you uh, Mr. Okay. Sorry. Alex. Alex. Thank you. You enjoy today? Hopefully, hopefully. So we'll see some orang or tan. My friend coming big one. My friend is Richie, the name is Richie. The <laughs> orang udan. Orang udan big one. Oh, big okay. boss. Big boss here. Richie. Richie, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, sama-sama. Let's see here. Sana ga? Just go down straight. The beast. Uh, Ranger, give your information later. Okay, thank you. So there are some steps going down. Okay, dokie. Okay. They got all my things. Then like, like lose my passport, stuff like that. And for your own safety, do not run down this slope. Walk on all slope carefully and stately. So this is Siemens Go. <laughs> Let's just do the tripod. We experience some shakiness, of course. And uh, sorry about that. Let's stand in the two legs only, the ones in front of me. The one leg that is supposed to be around facing me. I did not extend because uh, if I extend it will be like touching my crotch which is not a good thing because of uh, extended or inflated cock of Jericho is bad news for all the female species of Malaysia oh let's see where the hell am I supposed to go customer service center there must be a toilet somewhere around here hmm. Be a toilet somewhere. You can proceed to the feeding area now. Your tripod, please keep it shorter. Huh? Shorter? Yes. Okie dokie. Make it shorter there. Right. See, you got a toilet there. Yeah? Ah. Thank, Thank you. So, do not extend the, to the tripod that much. So, I'm going to put it into a smaller one because the orangutans will feel threatened. 
especially when you think the tripod is actually a cock. Wait until the orangutans see my real weapon. They will be shocked. They will want to make love to me actually. Oh, toilet, toilet, toilet. Oh, I shouldn't actually film this place, but fuck it. So just enjoy yourself walking up the wall. Further down. Uh, what the fuck? Okay. Actually, last time I used to like love to do this one, sanding on the bowl and taking a dump. But later on, that's the correct way, the Western way. But there is some uh, some uh, research, which uh, of course, when it comes to research and statistics, you have to take it with a pinch of salt. That uh, actually doing this, not on the the Western bowl, but on a flat thingy, a uh, hole in the ground. Uh, how Asians supposed to do it is actually better for you because uh, it wards off like pain, uh, prostate cancer and whatnot. I think or some ca cancer around the ass or something like that. So the natural way is to actually squat and not sit. Life or oh, God didn't make it simple at all. He made it made our bodies endure much more than just sitting down and taking a dump. So it is a forested area. Quite nice, actually. Be quiet at all times. No food and drink. No smoking beyond this point. Damn it! Can't actually smoke and see the orangutans. Ouch! So this is Seaman Go Wildlife Center. Never mind. Fellas, say okay, what? No cameras, ah? No tripods. Hmm. Go. Go. No tripods, eh? I think this is a weapon. Yeah. So I expect it's a, it's a gun. Gun. Yeah. Oh. So you have a reason now why tripods are not allowed. Because the other the rule here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it looks like a gun definitely. <laughs> no tripods as soon as you get a gun. Oh. That's why. How about a small tripod? Mm -hmm. So I'm doing this freestyle. Is it far away, sir? 200 meters. Eh? So what's your name? Eh? My name? Musa. Musa. Eh? Are you a what, Iban or whatever? Uh, specifically, <laughs> Sorry? which which tribe? Iban. Iban, uh? and uh, that's the main one or what? Main. That means the most. Most. Paling banyak. Uh, oh, that one, uh, the majority one. Yes, among the biggest group in Sarawak. Oh, okay. Thirty-three percent. Thirty-three percent, huh? So when do we get to see type? See type. 
Yeah. The chief minister. Uh, <laughs> the chief minister is from the another tribes. Hey, does he live in uh, Kuching? Yes. Yes, huh? He's from the Melanau tribes. Oh, okay. So how is it in uh, Cebu and Miri? What is it like? It's a maybe it's a growing uh, uh, place. The one. Growing place, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it's another one of our city here. Was upgrade to city in 2004. What is uh, how many people must you have to be a city? It's a different to the at least about uh, 600,000. Like 600,000, eh? So we see the, the what the income. Oh, really? It's not uh, the income is not good, they can upgrade to city. Oh, okay. That means that, uh, like, say the cities in Sabah is like maybe a lot of uh, people there, but the income is very low, so it's not a city. Lah. Is that the case with the Sabah place? Sabah. Is it Kota Kinabalu? Is it the main? <coughs> yeah, Sabah. Kota, oh, Kota Kinabalu is the biggest uh, city. Yeah. Oh, this is a durian tree. Uh. Yeah. This Which one, one is it? This one? Uh? Yeah, that one. Wow, so tall one. I've never seen such a yeah. tall durian tree. Uh. Holy shit. Normally it's not that big. Why but not? Because the ones in the city is kind of young, I guess. Yeah. This one must be very, very old. The Boboa guy too. Durian tree. Durian tree. Actually, it's a fruit. Fruit season is the end of December here in the month. December. Now there's you can see maybe it's not two seasons. Two two seasons in one year, I think. Sometimes three. Three. Yeah. It's kind of like make it a bit cheaper if I'm not mistaken, isn't it? You can have it all year round, but it's like the China, they keep on. Importing our durians, you know, so everything is a bit more expensive. <laughs> so we have a performance there, orchestra maybe. And surprisingly, it's a bit cool here. Of course, it's cool, it's quite cool. So quiet. Can't see shit actually. Nope, can't see shit. Not like this vantage point. La 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 la. Where the hell is it? Don't see him anywhere at all. Looks like the tenor is not wrong. Right? Okay, let's see if any pretty girls around. Mm, not really. Let's see, let's see. Please keep along your. Please keep along your rubbish with you. What the fuck is this? It's not English. Please keep your rubbish with you, and that will be the right one. Mm, the same old shit. Mm, maybe the rang a is taking a dump. Or oh, it's just watching the Sopranos or Breaking Bad's new season, new episodes. Final season of Breaking Bad, that's more important than doing a performance for us. Definitely, maybe. Mm, that's a nice looking person. Let's see. Let's focus, focus, focus. Mm, beer belly is blocking it, but it's okay. So we can see there, not this one, not the wrong grammar, but below it, bananas, the yellow thing. I 
think that's about it, you know. There's nothing else to see here except for here. Okay. I don't see them anywhere actually. Ah, yeah, shit. Almost forgot. I can see them actually. Look at that. That's the orangutan. There's four cars. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Oops, oops, oops. He's doing some acrobatic stunts. Sorry for the shaking. And there is the cord block. Okay, there he is again. And I think that's a young pup. Oh god, look at him. He's using his... Uh, I can see his dick. I think so. I think that is a dick. Oh shit. I think that is a dick. I think he's holding a coconut, no? And he's sucking on it again. Actually, just now, the, the bus, the conductor was talking about at 4 o'clock we'll be at Sola. Oh, shit. Oh, there goes the coconut. Oh, look at his face. Face of desperation and, and sadness. It's a pure Oscar moment. Poor thing. He's going to go and get another one. Definitely, maybe. So the tour guide was hopefully not wrong before I say anything he was like talking about like f at 4 p.m. and he says that oh solat uh, we have to go to a masjid and pray and everybody in the, the bus reverse I don't think they are pious so I thought it was actually a place called solat until it occurred to me it is actually one of the six prayer times or is it five I'm not sure so it's kind of funny blasphemous jokes Because you always wonder what kind of place Solat would be. But it's actually a term. But it was a town with attractions. And there he goes. Where is he going? He's going to get some stuff from the manhandler. Yep. Uh, that is, uh, I don't know what that is. No idea. Thank you. 
It's still there. Got them in. Move. Is that a stick? I don't. I think it is a stick. Oh, we gotta find out. Gotta find out. How big is it? Oh, I can't see shit. Can't focus well. Just a uh, Pakistan like thing. Uh, let's see. It. Oh, fuck it. So this is my first time looking at the orangutan. Quite exciting. Not really. Actually, I'm more excited about the, the kind of pretty people around. Hmm. I think focus on the people instead of the oh so boring orangutan. And you can see some pretty girls around. Definitely, maybe. Oh, very nice. Do a panoramic view of the people here, spectating the spectated. And that's about its 360 view. Surprisingly, there's only one. One orangutan. Okay, there's a person making monkey faces, it's alright. And uh, some iPads here and there. Not bad, not bad. Smiley, smiley. Mm. So uh, it's going to be like three minutes until the end of this video of Siemens Co. And uh, there's like lots and lots of uh, ropes here and there if you can see them. So it's not that natural at all. It's all man-made really man-made and yeah, that's about it it's getting a bit boring it would be like nice to have a book around to read well just uh well you want to like uh, unfocus your eyes from the very very what you might call it very very uh, strenuous book reading you just want to look up from your book and look at the orangutan having is it? Is he gonna throw it? Is he gonna throw it? Is he gonna get durians? Is that a durian? No idea. Oh, there goes that fruit, which until now is very, very unknown. And uh, well, let's see, anybody will. Ah, there's some pretty girls there, smiling away, must be uh, international students. So, now we see, uh, it's not getting any fruits now. Oh, it's just trying to like do a ballerina type of uh, stunt, with all fours stretched out. And why do I feel like a commentator for a gymnasium event? Mm -hmm. And he's going to get the fruit. Which until now I don't know. Oh, he dropped it. That's a uh, eight, 8 out of 10 score, unfortunately. Is he going to win the Russian Gymnasium Gymnastic Championship? I don't think so. Okay. Mm. So it's going to end the video now. If Oh, very good. I interrupt this program to get you the second or third part of Siemens Go. And there's a second huge, huger orangutan. Just came up from nowhere. How can you tell whether it's a female or male? No idea. I just have to ask them whether it's a sausage or a taco. I really hope that all the people around me are not hearing what I'm saying. Because there will be, in oh look at it, everybody's like taking pictures and stuff. And I'm taking a picture of people taking pictures. And people are taking pictures of me. 
So it's like an infinite loop of awareness and destruction that is. So let's see who's going to be the star of this show. Because on my programs, everybody is a star. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, two of them there. So if you look at here, this is what they would actually be thinking about. They'll be thinking about Tolong, help. Get me out of this uh, zoo like area. a very different type of 69 okay is there any other place to go actually besides this area is that uh, the end of the line no idea i guess that's about it um i think i'm gonna get out of here definitely mm. i think everybody's gone already let's go and take uh, chow 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 <laughs> the rainforest surprisingly I haven't been bitten by any mosquitoes at all and we see there's a tree here called Kumpang which I have no idea what it is it looks like the cocoa trees leaves so yeah and it's very humid of course this is the Southeast Asia which is near the equator it is humid I wish the humidity would actually leave the middle part of this earth and go to where it is needed like in Russia, England, Japan and whatnot so that it's not only humid in the summer of Japan but also in the winter because I know that the core in Korea and Japan the winters can be quite brutal especially when it's like uh, we're talking about big mainland and of course the Korea and Japan are not mainlands they are something like peninsula and uh, island respectively when it comes to like say um, Russia or Germ Russia or Germany is part of a very large mass of land and it's very cold there during the winter so they do need a lot of humidity which unfortunately they are kind of fucked because it's all concentrated in the belt of Mother Earth Mother Earth needs a diet so big trees here and there and everywhere Durian especially uh, So prayers to the poor sap who is like underneath the durian tree when the durian itself falls on his head and he would die uh, and This uh, trip into the rainforest is devoid of leeches Oh god So I guess I'm going to end my video now, I don't want to waste any more time in the rainforest Unfortunately, I mean if this was like a rainforest of the human pubic area then it's alright hmm, I wonder if this video is smoother when I'm just holding the camera 
This area reminds me of Bukit Jambul in Penang. Kachit Fatima, isn't that a, isn't that a aphrodisiac for women? I mean, anything that makes a girl horny is a good thing. I mean, men don't need Viagra or whatever because they are horny all the time, 24-7. There's no rest days for men. The bane of all students. That's where how the rotan was made to hit students who misbehave. It's quite a young girl that one in the green shorts, Chinese that is, and quite huge as well. I mean, in terms of size. I mean, she's still young. Surely she'll have a lot of time to grow. So that's the conclusion of this Siemens Go. Uh, this place actually is like very, very like uh, reminiscent of something of from a dream. So there might be a there might be a what they call uh, something to do with dreams and also the future. There should be actually because sometimes they, you you get a feeling of deja vu. And this place reeks of that deja vu because I think I've seen this before in my dreams. So, see you Malaysia. This is Simengo reporting from Simengo or Semengo, the non hentai version pronunciation. See you, bye bye.